February 1st, 2016. Okay, this shih tzu, male not neutered, right? No. Eight years old, okay. Has this problem of uh, skin disease, and the flakes seems young, is it? Yes. A lot of flakes. And then treated by uh, various vets, right? Yes. Then what happened? Still like that. Uh, after some steroid, like you said, it was after, okay. Uh, usually they will give him steroid injection to suppress the mm. the flakes, and mm. then it will, after a while it will come back. But was the ear clean because the ears very dirty as well? Yeah. Did, did you clean the ears? Uh, recently, no. About one week, never clean. Oh, okay, the ears is definitely quite long already. You can see the flakes and crustiness. Because he won't let me clean the ears because of the... Okay, so the ear could be one of the causes of this scratching. Then now we talk about where? The lower part, right? The whole body. Yeah, the whole body. Any hair loss? Mm, hair loss... Uh, it's just dry skin. Yeah, like any hair loss? Skin. Dry hair loss, I can't really see. Because when I comb him, hair does fall. But the dog bites himself, long. yeah. He bites himself, right? Yeah. But this skin disease, in this case of this, was he on steroid recently? Recently, no. Huh? He stopped steroids for a few years already. Yeah. Mm. How about hypoallergenic diet? Just started. Before that? Before that, no. We didn't know about it. Nobody recommend you? Yeah, no one recommend to do Okay, so now what I want to do is to turn the dog upside down already. Yeah. Uh, because he might bite me. Yeah, okay, I will turn it. He turn, uh, he turn one, one, two, three. Just lie down first. Okay. Lie down. Ah, on the table. Okay, like that. Now, can we? So I see uh, this inflammation. Is there, is there a very strong smell, rancid smell? Yeah. Okay, I want to see the neck or so. Come up a bit. The neck or so. All this have been recently or not? This, all this redness here? The scale? It's just recently after the medication finished. For B. Before that? Before that, a while on medication, it was worse. okay. No, before medication? Before medication, was, was it worse? Yeah. Was it worse? Not really, but this time it flared out very badly. Hmm. Although you was on the hypoallergenic. Uh, hypoallergenic, I just started. Since ten, yeah, ten. Of, yeah. Now it's uh, about about uh, three weeks ago. Three uh. weeks ago, give him hypoallergenic. Hmm, hypoallergenic. Okay, now I'm going to shine ultraviolet lights. Wait one second, uh, see whether it shines up. If it shines, then it's ringworm. Ringworm, they will shine very uh, like fluorescence and that, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the fluorescent it shines. So ringworm is there definitely. There it fluoresce. Fluoresce means shiny now it becomes. Ultra ultraviolet. So it's widespread. Oh yeah, I'm turning back up to the normal. Let me see his backside. Okay. Yeah, there's fluorescent. Whole body. Okay. Okay, let's switch off first. So one possibility is ringworm. Ringworm is a fungus. The fungus infection. But normally they have hair loss. It doesn't have hair loss. Certain parts he... Only the below there's hair loss. Yeah. On top is a lot of scales. Now the other one is yeast. Yeast infection. Yeast. Yeah, normally yes. there's one sour smell. Has it got a sour yeah, smell? Yes. Hmm? Yes. And you have to bathe every day, right? Two days, one time. Mm, so now the owner comes in to bring the dog for a clipping board. Uh, and then we clean the ears. And then she will apply the wash. Uh. Mm. But this case is a rather unusual case in the sense that I don't see much hair loss uh, on the table. Some cases you see a lot of hair loss. But on the lower part, there's a lot of biting, self-biting. Mm. I will check the microscope.